Abusiamiliani citizen, Kwajo Jr. I saw a video this week. The man was saying that a happy person want 10,000 things, but then a sick person want only one thing. And I'm sure you know that thing, the ability to survive or the gift of life. He continued to say that it is the unlimited desires that we have that is clouding our peace of mind and then happiness, which is very true. It coincides with a story of mine. You know, way back in the secondary school, I had this uh, friend who was disabled. He was in a retail. But this guy was one of the happiest and the funniest guy that you will ever find on campus. As a close friend, I once asked him that, Charlie, it seems you don't pity yourself because people always pity you, but then you are always doing things that people least expect you to do. But he told me something, that the fact that he is in a wheelchair and one of his right hand and the right leg isn't working, there are people who don't have legs at all. And before he does anything, one thing that he considers most is the fact that he has life, the gift of life. You know, you see these refugees that we see on our roads, uh, these Niger people, you sometimes find them together with their family, our five people, eating one bowl of kinky, eating a plate of rice, and then they are happy. It is not because they don't desire for anything, but at that particular moment, what they want is food. There are people who have less than what we have, but are happier than ourselves. Why? Because we are thinking of the thousand things that we are praying for or we are wishing for and then we are not able to get. Whilst we can focus on the current blessings that we have and be happy of. So my point is, you can always be happy and you can always have a peace of mind. If you can focus on the things that you have, the current blessings that you have, rather than focusing on the things that you are not able to get, which will put you in a sad mood all the time. It is good to desire for a lot of things. But then just know that, as the man said, a sick person only wants one thing, the ability to survive. Just be grateful for the things that you have today. Pray for the things that you wish for. But then be happy and be grateful for the current blessings that you have. God bless you.